You might have gypsy moths or gypsy moth caterpillars and not know it. Why should you care? Well, if left untreated, it could mean a beloved tree at your house could eventually die. Christian Garzon was in Irondequoit for the story. The gypsy moth as a caterpillar feeds on leaves just like this. An arborist today told me to do a quick look at your property. If you've got something like this, it might be time to call a tree specialist. Arborist Noreen Riordan says the gypsy moth made its way over here by accident from the old world in the 1860s. In North America, it does not have any natural predators. The gypsy moths tend to come in series of three to four years of eruption. Uh, in a row. There is a virus that spreads and kills the moth, but when conditions are right, the virus isn't effective, like this year. They lay these little egg casings that are filled with between 200 and 1,000 eggs. As caterpillars, they feed on leaves like this. Riordan says if a tree loses its leaves, where its food is made, it could die. The caterpillars and the moths also irritating to human skin. I met someone whose kids were out camping and their neck was all covered with a rash. When they become moths, the egg laying process starts all over again. Some trees they like to attach themselves to are oak, maple, and pine. I saw a number of them all over the tree, so we were very concerned with that. Sue McCarthy in Irondequoit is getting an insecticide injection done to get rid of the insects. She says they'd hate to lose this tree in their front yard. That's one of the reasons that we bought this house, is for the bullet. Riordan says if left untreated, the gypsy moths and their offspring will soon return, and in greater numbers. A tree this big is not going to be able to survive. Now, Riordan says there is a limited time to get your tree an insecticide injection. When the caterpillars start to feed on the leaves, they'll die. For News 8, I'm Christian Garzone. Christian, thank you. For more on gypsy moths and all the havoc they cause trees all across North America, head on over to this story at rochesterfirst.com.